From the Endergroove Remains production team studios in the Netherlands, my name is Mixmaster G and welcome to this tutorial. My mission is not to sell you as many apps as I can, no, my mission is to educate and teach you about collection management and conversion for DJs, so you save yourself more time for the fun and creative part of being a DJ. This is the quick tutorial converting from Serato to Recordbox. And when I say record box, it's not only the app record box, it's actually a record box XML file which can be used to convert even further. So from record box to Tractor, DJ, etc. Basically making this from Serato to Tractor, for instance. There are a few things that are important before you go ahead. First of all, by default, the DJ conversion utility is led up by tracks in crates. If you don't use crates or you don't have tracks in crates, create a crate just for testing and put the tracks in it. You need to do that prior to using the DJ conversion utility. If tracks of your Serato collection are on external drives, on cloud servers, etc., that will work fine with the DJ conversion utility. But those drives or cloud servers needs to be mounted. Meaning, if you start up Serato right now, you can load the track and it will load it. That means the track is available and the DJ Converse Utility needs the tracks to be available. I start up the DJ Conversion Utility and I tell it that we want to convert from Serato by clicking on the Serato logo. All these settings you see right here have tooltips, which means if you hover the mouse over them, they will tell you what they do exactly. Right now I leave everything default, which is for most of you the correct setting anyways. It will show you the selection menu and here you select which crates or combination of crates you want to convert to record box. There are some shortcuts available and if you hover your mouse over it right here, it will tell you which shortcuts are available. For instance, you can press command A to select everything and command D to deselect everything. You can press the command key and just click a couple of crates and those will be converted. Or you can hold down the shift key while you click to make a continuous selection of crates. Recommendation, don't do everything at once. If you are completely new, just pick one crate with a handful of tracks with cues and loops to get the hang of things, to understand how this all works before you dive all in. There is no need with the DJ conversion utility to convert everything at once. You can do it in steps, in stages that will make the import in Recordbox easier later on and it will save you a lot of time and frustration if you don't have the particular settings you want to use. So just go ahead and take one crate with some tracks in it and let it convert. Again, this is real time, folks. I'm not going to edit this video at all. The moment you see this dialog box appear, the DJ conversion utility is true. If your final conversion target is not record box, then you're now at the point where you can quit the tutorial. The DJ conversion utility created a record box XML and my tools will automatically find that particular record box XML as a source for further conversions. So if you want to go to Tractor, Serato, Algorithms, DJ, even Denim Prime using the Denim conversion utility, you are set and ready to go. If you want to go to record box, then please watch the rest of the tutorial. By the way, you don't need to have the full paid version of Recordbox, the free preparation version of Recordbox will suffice and that also enables you to create CDJ USBs in case you need them. If you're in a hurry and you need to go from A to B, then this is the part where you can quit if your final destination is not Recordbox. The DJ conversion utility automatically starts Recordbox 5.6.0 and I hear you think, hey Mixmaster G, why not the latest version? That is because there is a bug in all versions past 5.6.1 and that bug is fully explained in the link above my head. Suffice to say, right now use Recordbox 5.6.0 to import XML data and use 
the latest version of Rackerbox for everything else. You can have them both together on your system. First, we visit the Rackerbox preferences and the analysis preferences to be precise. And make sure that these are your settings, which means BPM and grid key and phrase are totally off and the auto analysis is enabled. Another important part is all our data right now is in the record box XML. This is a very mysterious thing, but it's really simple. The record box XML is just a way to get information in record box. And in order to make that possible, the record box XML need to be specified, which the DTA conversion utility automatically does for you. So all you need to do is double check. Are we looking at the correct record box XML? And in the view, you need to enable the record box XML in the layout. Having done all that, you can see my collection is entirely clear. Right now we go to the record box XML and we click on playlists, the top level playlists, not insider, just top level playlists. We right click it or we press the control key. We keep the control key pressed and click it. And they say import playlists. Our tracks are imported in the record box collection. You can see that at the top of the column and they are already there. What you see is that for instance, the album names are missing. So will be genre, commands, etc., etc. In order to get that data in, just select the newly added tracks, press the control key or use the left mouse key and you get this pull down menu, select reload text from the menu. The album name is imported and so are all the other ID3 common tags. Of course, you can just load a track inside the record box deck and you can see everything is there converted from my Serato collection. Much more in-depth tutorials can be found in my YouTube channel about how to use the Serato uh, modification date selection for instance which is a very powerful tool or how to assign queues and loops to different hot and memory banks all that is in the youtube channel so that's the place to go if you need more information mixmaster g signing off